In this episode, I speak with Eric Gales, Country Manager for Amazon Web Services Canada. Eric has been a fixture of the Canadian technology scene for more than 30 years, but he maintains his enthusiasm and his accent, like he's just arrived from the United Kingdom yesterday ready to make his fortune. A pilot, an underwater hockey enthusiast, and decidedly customer-obsessed leader, Eric shares his thoughts on the way artificial intelligence, machine learning, and the arrival of voice technology in the workplace will shape the face of business imminently. How do you see the, the workplace changing now? Not just with cloud, but you know, you have AI coming on board and a lot of things are, are different. One of the things I'm most excited about is the advent of voice. I know that you have an echo at home and so you're familiar with it. It really changes your life when you can you could talk to computers. That's something that you know, I grew up as a child um, excited about happening. Um, we see that translating into the workplace. Uh, and so we recently launched uh, Alexa for Business, which was based on customer demand. Could we bring those capabilities into the workplace? We see that extending. And so over the course of the next few years, I think you'll really see the workplace transform to have a lot more voice interfaces to traditional applications. So voice is changing everything. Is AI going to have a similar impact on the Yeah, I, th I, th I, you know, I really think the, the sort of three categories, and they really play together, of voice, artificial intelligence, and machine learning, those are three very exciting areas that we're seeing a huge amount of investment in companies. And we are making huge investments based on a lot of history. So in Amazon, Amazon's been a big uh, investor and user of artificial intelligence and machine learning for 20 years. And you're seeing that translate now into services that our customers can use, but also a real focus on making some of those capabilities more accessible to customers to make it, uh, to enable them to use those services more broadly. So what is your, uh, your mandate at AWS? Is obviously it's growing, growing uh, market and customers. Is there anything else that uh, we might not necessarily know about? My mandate at AWS is to really to build out a team here that can help our Canadian customers benefit from the services that AWS has to offer. Um, and beyond that, also can contribute to the environment. So we know that in our industry in general, particularly in this area of cloud computing, there is a skill shortage. And so we're making investments here in Canada to contribute to helping make an interactive destination, to invest in um, kids being interested in coming into our sector at an earlier age, uh, we've got uh, programs that we're launching in, in uh, Canada, uh, something called AWS Educate, which is a program which starts at high school, also universities. We've got over 30 universities that are participating in that program this year to introduce cloud computing technologies to students. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's, I, I think we, we want to contribute to, to building that community, but also you know, a historical problem uh, with the IT sector that I know you're familiar with is, uh, is the gender inequality. And so we're also, we, we want to make a contribution to, to making an attractive destination for women to come into our sector as well. And so, you know, along with other peers in our industry, we're investing in, in areas like um, to make it a more attractive destination. We recently joined uh, WCT, uh, which we're excited about and making a contribution, uh, contribution there in Canada. Thank you. I appreciate that as the Vice Chair of WCT. I understand that you're quite a sportsman. You've been involved uh, with all sorts of things when you were in England and also now in Canada. And one of the things that uh, we learned about you is this underwater hockey that a lot of Canadians would never have heard of. Can you just embroider a bit on that? For sure. Great. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's probably an incorrect characterization to say I was a great sportsman. I've played at lots of sports and uh, one of those sports was, uh, was underwater hockey that I'm sure people will now go and research. Uh, it has some similarities to hockey. It's played with a puck that looks like a hockey puck, but it's played on the bottom of a pool. Uh, I played that for, for about 20 years with a, with a, with a great group of, of friends in, in the UK. And I also understand you have a pilot's license. I do. I'd say both of these things are a, a bit of escapism. Uh, you know, I've got a wonderful family that gives me a little bit of time every now and then to just escape. What's the most important career lesson you've learned that you can share with us? You have to be willing to learn because particularly in our sector, it is always evolving. And the moment that you stop learning, the moment you stop being curious about how things could be better, how you could do things differently, you're going backwards. I've loved working in this industry. It's an exciting industry. Uh, it changes every day. Uh, I've been through some incredible waves of technology. This latest one uh, is the biggest of them all. 
And so there is a ton to learn uh, and it's an exciting place to be uh, and it's exciting to go and you know, learn how customers are, are applying these technologies to solve their business problems. So learn. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.